I'm Scott and I'm a coffee curator in Seattle at a company called Beanbox. What that really means is every day I'm tasting 12 to 15 cups of coffee. That all kind of adds up to a really well caffeinated life and probably a big reason why I like to bike to work. So when I started commuting by bike, I was completely a fair weather rider and I'd only ride to work when it was really nice out, when it was drizzling or raining, and I feel like that's a completely great way to get into it. Uh, it wasn't until two years ago that I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to commute in all seasons. But the biggest hurdle for me was bringing all of my stuff to work. I think once I realized that all my stuff could fit on my bike, if I packed it really efficiently, it kind of took that hurdle away. I think the thing that I like the most about biking is that I'm getting to know all the different streets in the neighborhood. So usually when I'm planning a route, I'm taking a lot of back roads, I'm going through neighborhoods, and I'm getting to bomb down hills in ways that I wouldn't typically explore if I'm taking the most direct route when I'm driving. And I just, I think it's really fun to go fast. It's fun to kind of jump up curves and it keeps the, the commute really interesting for me. For me, when I'm commuting from the Central District to Soto, the majority of the ride is a downhill ride. And so the best thing is, after a long work day, if I don't want to ride all the way back uphill, I can just hop on the light rail station, ride it up to Beacon Hill, skip the whole climb, and then just bomb down into the Central District. So I'm a big advocate for mix and match transit. Um, and that's kind of one of my favorite things about living in Seattle is that you can cruise around to different neighborhoods and there's always going to be either a bus or a light rail station that you can piece together to get home and uh, really make your commute a bit easier. It's a time for me to really be present in my own body time for me to connect with the immediate world around me and it's in its own way a kind of a moment of zen that I'm not thinking about what I have to do later that day or uh, ruminating on something I did the other day I'm just kind of riding. <laughs>